In this video, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna fix up some old axes because I moved. I've got a fire stove now, and I wanna restore two axes that I have. Camper's still here, just haven't used it much recently. Got other things going on. But we have a backyard now, so that's pretty rad. And the shop got a pretty major upgrade. Have a two stall garage or one stall workshop, one stall car park. This ax is of significance because it was my wife's father's. So I got a new handle. We're gonna restore the head and call it good. This little hatchet was my grandfather's. So we're gonna restore that as well. Let's see how it turns out. Never done this before. Here's this one. That's not supposed to come off like that. So this is an old handle who's lived its life, time to move on. Same with this one. She needs to fresh handle. All right, now they're gonna soak them in some vinegar. Gonna leave that for a uh, few days. Come back and uh, polish her up, but yeah. Quick update, because I haven't been making videos recently. We moved, across town, we're still in Boulder, moving to a home, got my shop set up. Truck's out there. Without the camper on it, took the camper off for the move. We'll get the camper back going soon. But everything's going well. So it's been a week. Let's see what's going on in here. Nasty, let's take a look. This is how they cleaned up. Look pretty good. Not perfect, but not bad. I'm gonna dry them off and then see what else I should do. So now I am sanding. I got some 120 here. We're gonna work our way down. I sanded it down. Looks pretty good. The internet says to do a protective coat. I'm gonna try some coconut oil. Coconut oil applied, I don't know, seems fine. Uh, gonna try to put the handle on now. Handle up there. New handle, $11.99 from the hardware store. Head's looking great. Plenty of patina still. Pretty sharp little. It's doing well. So this is the one that I think my grandfather left. It's got a smaller head than my handle. So I gotta figure out how to get that to fit in there. But I'll figure it out. I bought this one on a whim. It was way too big. I tried to fix it. It went poorly. So I bought a new handle. That's actually the right size. I measured it. And now we're just getting it to fit nice and snug. I think I got it on there pretty good. Time to put the glue on. Bit of a Frankenstein, but I think it's gonna work. Now I'm doing this little hammer too. Again, it's too big, I gotta sand it down. I think that's the right thing to do. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but that's what we got. This one came out good. This is my dad's hammer. He's still around. That's nice to have this hammer. 